Welcome back to another episode of Can I Break It? I actually hate that. Where today we're gonna try to break the new Requiem original, My Little Monsters. I asked you guys for glitches, bugs, or exploits you guys know of on Discord and YouTube, and today we're gonna review all of them. For this first glitch, literally everyone has already seen it. Walk into any store where there's an NPC, look away, look back, and it'll briefly change outfits. That was pretty much the only bug that I found myself, so now let's go for glitches that you guys found. We're gonna go from small bugs to glitches that let you completely break the map. So stay tuned for that. For the second bug, which isn't really a bug, but it's kind of an exploit. If you go to the monster sanctuary, feed your pet and rejoin the sanctuary, your food tree will regain its fruits. That way you can quickly level up your monster. Number three, if you're on mobile and the game crashes while you're hatching an egg, apparently the game just breaks. So probably wait a little before playing on mobile. For number four, you can choke a mothman until they're little. Uh, I just found this out, but for bug number four, if you give your pet a ball, sometimes when he hands the ball back to you, it just goes flying. Oh, just like that. <laughs> Oh my god. The further you throw the ball, the higher it will go when it gives it back to you. <laughs> Alright, for bug number five, apparently you can very easily just get on top of any building. I'm guessing if you just, yeah, you can just climb on anything. Now, this isn't crazy and it's probably intentional, but what's not intentional is getting on top of there. Alright, after a bit of experimenting, I figured it out, and here's how you can get outside of the map. Alright, so to do this, what you want to do is come to this corner of the map next to the statue, go up to this rock over here, walk forward in real life as much as you can, reset your position. This is only possible in VR, by the way. Once you've reset your position all the way over there, you want to walk back in real life as much as you can, then in-game, walk into the wall, and then reset your position again. And if I did this correctly... There you go! I'm inside of the rock now. As you can see, my monster can't reach me because I'm just out of bounds. Alright, now I just gotta do that again, and here we are. Alright, I don't even know where my monster is, I'm just <laughs> completely out of bounds now. Is that- Oh my god, that marker all the way over there is my pet. Alright, now that I'm here, I'm actually not sure how to get up there. I'm gonna try to phase through this rock over here. I actually wanna go back now. I think I soft-locked myself. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> I have no idea how to explain what I just did, but basically what you want to do is just spam reset position all over the place. So if you're wondering to know what's inside this house, it's absolutely nothing. If I go over here, I can just face through the ceiling and yeah, there's nothing here. It is interesting how there's collisions on some things though. This is such a cool shot. All right, now that I figured out how to do this, I'm going to try to glitch under the map. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. All right, you can face through the rock right beside this bridge. Oh my god. We did it! I'm under the map! <laughs> There's a ton of stuff here. Daily rewards? Oh my god. I just claimed... I just got like 10 crystals or something. All right, I'm underground, and it gave me the like water effect as if I'm underwater. There's a ton of dev tools. There's the tutorial over here. There's a bunch of menus. Up there it says HUD. I haven't been able to do much of anything here, except for claiming a daily reward over here. The floor over here is a dev texture to show you like cubic meters and stuff. Oh yeah, and all the menus reverse when you look from behind. This was by far the coolest though. All right, the rocks that let you go under the map is these ones right here, right next to the bridges. All right, for bug number six, which isn't really a bug, if you jump between buildings, your <laughs> your pet will jump with you and do some huge jumps. What? What are you? Oh, oh my God! My pet just died. Where's my? <laughs> right to make your little guy jump as far as possible. Bring him right here, then jump on this little pyramid. All right, for bug number seven, you can make your monster just start flying and doing some pretty goofy things with this bridge. All you really gotta do is just spam jump, and and then you're and then you're. <laughs> he just kind of like stops midair every once in a while. All right, for bug number eight, I'm gonna attempt to go under the map in the sanctuary because if I go underground here, as you can see, there's a couple menus over there that I want to check out. All right, I'm a little out of bounds now. I just gotta get a little further. All right, here we go. Oh, no, I got launched back. All right, I'm glitching around quite a bit, but I managed to get all the way over here. Oh, wait, what's over there? All right, I've reached a point where I can somewhat move here, but it's still really buggy. I'm struggling to see where I am at this point. 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 Oh, it's still like very limited, but I managed to get into this area. There's a tree over here I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a marker all the way over there And that's where the original sanctuary is. I wonder can I grab these fruits? Oh my god I can are they like more valuable or something at this point in the map trying to drop a fruit will instantly make it fall to the ground Oh my monster just got a hundred XP from one of those fruits. All right, I'm gonna try to push it even further Oh, what's this place? <laughs> I did it. Look at this. If I drop down. Yup. 
And there we are. I did it, man. All right, let's see what's happening over here. As you can see over there, that's the original sanctuary area, and I managed to make it all the way over there. Is that a copy of my monster? All right, so there's a copy of my monster over there. Over there, it says level up UI HUD. And over here, there's just floating fruits that I can indeed grab. As you can see, the floor over here is the same as last time on the other area. Oh, it's this menu again. I'm guessing none of this. Yeah, none of this still does anything. And this is the last menu here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's just a tutorial thing. Now I just got to find out what happens if I go that way. This should probably be a reminder to you that if you want me to do this more, you should probably subscribe. I also right now have 90,000 people added on Rec Room and I'm trying to reach 100,000. So if you want, you can add me too. I'll accept it. This map is really big and it kind of gives me liminal vibes. I think I've walked about a whole kilometer at this point. All right, here I am at the edge of the map. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. That's a huge platform. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna respawn. Bug number nine, here we go. All right, a whole lot of you pointed this bug out in the comments, but to do bug number nine, you need to have access to the digging spots in the Evergrown. To get access to these, you need like a level one sanctuary. And to execute this, just enter the Evergrown and just sit around, or you can collect stuff if you want, but you just gotta wait for your pet's light to run out. Oh God. Oh, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. No, he's dead. Oh, wait. Wait, I think I did it. Where's it going? <laughs> it worked. Look at him go. All right, forget everything I said. What you got to do is let your pet run out of energy, then get expelled. And then once your pet runs out of energy, go back in and go as fast as you can into one of these digging areas. And then once you're back here, it should do what it... Oh, I think I just got banned. What? What just happened? All right, for number 10, I'm gonna try my best to break this place as much as possible. So before I go into any of the portals, I'm gonna try to glitch outside of here. I'm also gonna change my camera angle so you guys can see better. All right, three, two, one. Oh, wow. That was way easier than I thought. Okay, we're already underground. My pet is like stuck up all the way. Whoa. Okay, we're already underground and I'm already seeing a bunch of menus. Okay, what's that? Is that a- okay, So that's a copy of my pet just standing there with an egg? Can I grab the egg? Can't do anything with the egg, but my pet is just standing there. Bunch of text over here. HUD, rock shiner particles, combatant impact particles, tree fall imposter, energy transfer particles, and popcorn numbers again. The only other menu here is just like a tutorial thing again. Oh, hey, it's my axe. I can- Oh, I can grab both. Wait, no way. Can I- Can I just keep collecting these? Ah, oh, sadly it doesn't work. I thought I was gonna get like a bunch of rock and stuff. That's pretty much it over here. There doesn't seem to be anything I can really exploit. So let's just go back up and see if there's anything hidden on the actual map. Okay, first thing I want to check out is these waterfalls. So if I glitch inside of here, what happens? Three, two, one. Oh, oh no! I just fall out of the map again! Yep, okay, I just died. That's pretty good actually. I don't have to rejoin the game. Oh, oh, I'm definitely trying this. Okay, this is pretty much the highest I can go. Three, two, one. Alright, this is my last attempt. Okay, I pretty much gave up trying to glitch out the Evergrown because we pretty much saw everything. Uh, this is where I'm at now. Hey, I did it. I'm on the other side of the waterfall. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I actually managed to go down here without the water effect. Now that I've established a way to get into pretty much anywhere, I really want to check out what's inside of these closed areas. I'm guessing nothing, but might as well try. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's pretty much nothing, but there is like somewhat of an interior. Okay, what about this door? All right, yeah, they're they're all pretty much the same. And interestingly, you can't take pictures here because you're inside of an object. Okay, now that my sanctuary is one stars, it actually expanded a little. So now that I can actually go down here, I wonder if glitching out the map will be easier. Huh, okay, that's weird. All right, well, bug 11. If you go into the water in your sanctuary and you reset your position, you'll have the water effect without being in the water. There were a lot of bugs that people suggested that I can't do because it requires the lag and a bunch of other criteria. But some of these include grabbing your own monster and throwing it on the floor. <laughs> And also jumping on other people's monsters, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and if you can get it to work, convince the person that has the monster to like leave the room or turn off their headset and see if that does anything. For an honorable mention, if you want to get everything in this room for free instantaneously, just go to my profile and click on that beautiful support button. Once you click on it, you'll either get everything instantaneously or within the next decade or so. If you want to be featured in a video just like this, join the Discord because I announce everything there ahead of time. Other than that, I'll see you next time.